Okay. I want to say thank you to Inez, Jerry's wife, for taking care of my friend and our friend and her husband while he was ill. She's been absolutely wonderful. She's a very special person. Jerry, I hope you can hear me. If everyone quiets down. Jerry Thompson, I know you're out there. I love you, Jerry. You're my brother. When I heard about your cancer, I was heartbroken, devastated. I didn't know what to do. All I knew is that a friend of mine was in trouble and he needed help and I needed to do something for him, to help him, to fight for him. And that's why we're here tonight. That's why we all gathered together to help a friend, Jerry, and help his kids. I can't say enough about how appreciative I am for everything that all of you have done for our friend Jerry Thompson. So thank you. Jerry, I would do anything for you. You know that. But if there's one thing that I could do, it would be to make you well again. I wish I could do that, Jerry. Because I love you. I hate cancer. Cancer sucks. And it's touched all of us. And now it's here rearing its ugly head again. It wants to take our friend, my friend, a husband, a father, but we have to fight, and Jerry, we want you to fight along with us. Just want to say something to Jerry's kids, Brandon, Drew, and Jason. You've got the best father in the world, and I know you're very proud of him. Everyone in here tonight is a testament to how much they care about your dad. You guys are great. Jerry? Like I said, we want you to keep up the fight. We want you to fight for Inez. We want you to fight for your kids. We want you to fight for all of us, and I want you to fight for me, your brother. Because I will always be your brother, Jerry. Join me if you would, and raise a glass to our friend Jerry Thompson. To Jerry!